Welcome to News Today with WW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for March 13th, 2020. Yesterday, the Walt Disney Company announced the closure of Walt Disney World, Disneyland Resort, Disneyland Paris, and as well, the Disney Cruise Line due to the coronavirus pandemic. Cast members will continue to receive payment throughout the closure period. I know that's an important question that people have been asking, so we want to get that out of the way first and foremost before we give you all of this closure information. Uh, starting in the West Coast, Disneyland and Disney California Venture will close to guests this evening. All Disneyland Resort hotels will remain open through March 16th to give guests the ability to make necessary travel arrangements. The closure is expected to take place through the end of the month at this time. Uh, during this period, Downtown Disney is expected to remain open, but hours will be adjusted as necessary. The news comes after the city of Anaheim issued guidelines calling for the postponement of non-essential gatherings of 250 or more people through March 31st, which the resort is now complying with. Disney has always made a point of reducing food waste, and uh, during the temporary closure of the Disney parks in response to the coronavirus, the commitment to donating excess food inventory will continue. Disneyland Resort has donated over 20,000 meals to Second Harvest Food Bank of Orange County, and Disney volunteers uh, regularly volunteer at the food bank. According to the park's blog, Disney will follow strict food safety guidelines when donating excess food. Quote, while closely following food safety guidelines, excess inventory of dairy, fruit, vegetables, packaged goods, and banquet meals are being donated to Second Harvest Food Bank, whose mission is to end hunger in Orange County. Walt Disney World Resort will temporarily close at the end of the operating day on Sunday, March 15th, out of an abundance of caution for their cast members and guests. The closure is slated to last through the end of the month as well, but Walt Disney World officials have noted that they are monitoring developments. Walt Disney World Resort hotels are slated to remain open, as is Disney Springs. Walt Disney World Resort has since released updated information concerning reservations, ticket expiration extensions, annual passes, and more. As far as tickets, unexpired multi-day theme park tickets with unused days or date-specific theme park tickets will, with a start date on or before March 31st, 2020, will automatically be extended to use any date through December 15th of 2020. If you're unable to visit by December 15th, you may apply the value of a wholly unused ticket towards the purchase of a ticket for a future date. Florida resident Discover Disney tickets may now be used through July 31st, 2020. Guests who have purchased uh, tickets for Disney After Hours, Disney Villains After Hours, and Disney Early Morning Magic from March 16th through March 31st will be automatically refunded. Walt Disney World annual passes will be extended by the number of days the parks are closed, uh, at least for now March 16th through March 31st. Guests who have not checked in for stays between March 16th and March 31st may modify or cancel their room reservation or Walt Disney Company travel package uh, up to their original check-in date. If no action is taken, Disney will automatically process a refund to the original form of payment within seven days of the original check-in date. If you do not book through Disney directly, please contact your travel professional. Disney will waive all uh, Disney-imposed change and cancellation fees up to the date of check-in through June 30th, 2020. All prepaid dining and experience reservations will be automatically refunded if scheduled from March 16th through March 31st. Reservations made at uh, locations impacted by the closure will not charge a cancellation or no-show fee. The Reedy Creek Improvement District, the city uh, state that acts as Walt Disney World's governmental agency, has reported that seven firefighters and emergency medical technicians have been put under quarantine due to coronavirus concerns. Out of the seven, six have just returned from a conference in Tampa where another attendee has since tested positive. The seventh quarantine member of the RCFD has just returned from a trip to Vietnam and South Korea. None of these firefighters or EMTs have been confirmed as being infected with the virus, but have been quarantined as a precaution. Let's get to some, let's get to some normal news, shall we? Today, the new load and unload area at the Transportation and Ticket Center was actively being used. Walking to the new security screening checkpoint, the barriers that were in place to bar the entrance to the load and unload area have been removed. Although not completely finished, this new tram location was a bonus to see before the parks go down for the temporary closure. At the Magic Kingdom this morning, progress is continuing on the makeover of Cinderella Castle. There was no shortage of people this morning in response to the impending shutdown, but uh, nonetheless, we were there and uh, we're checking out this uh, new progress on the castle's makeover. The boom arms of the lift towers were stretched high above the castle as painting on the turrets continues. The middle section of the tower had a zigzag pattern design, has been painted over uh, with a new vibrant blue. Most, if not all, of the turrets have now been painted this new blue. 
Uh, we don't know how this project will progress through the shutdown that will start next week. Of course, originally Disney said this project would be completed uh, this summer, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but, but nonetheless, uh, they're making progress in these last few days before the closure. The Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover remains temporarily closed for the fifth day and problem. <laughs> Probably a lot more. With the park closing along with the rest of the resort after Sunday, we're not sure if the attraction will come back over the weekend, but cast members stated that the attraction went down sometime on 1 p.m. on Monday, but has not reopened since. Disney Springs will remain open, as we said, during the closure, and a new food truck is there, the Hot Diggity Dog Food Truck, and that opened just yesterday. The truck, which specializes in gourmet hot dogs, is, is parked on the west side. And if you're a fan of the hot dog of the month at Casey's Corner, these are going to be similarly loaded type dogs. But I will tell you, we like them a whole lot more. There's a BLT dog, a Santa Fe dog, a Reuben dog, a Chicago dog, and a Texas chili cheese dog. And all of them come equipped with house-made chips, which could also be loaded with the same flavors as any of those dogs. You can get an order of chips and then load them with any of those five toppings. A special hot diggity dog sauce can also be added for some sweet and heat action. I really like that a lot. But in fairness, these are all delicious even without it, and the varied combinations of toppings make, make each flavor unique. And if you aren't in the mood for a full hot dog, the loaded chips are a good option as well. Hopefully this remains open. You guys get to go check it out because I think usually this would get lost in, in a vacation. I don't know how many people I don't want to go to a food uh, a hot dog truck uh, during my Walt Disney World vacation. I mean, there's plenty of good places to eat at Disney Springs, but with all the parks closed and if you're in the area and you're looking to get something and this happens to be open, I think these are very good. They blow Casey's out of the water. I would have the Santa Fe or the Chili Dog again, and I thought the BLT uh, one was also very good. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked I'm, I have such a positive review, but we really, really enjoyed this. It was very good. With France establishing a temporary ban on gatherings of more than 1,000 people, Disneyland Paris will close in order to comply with the country's new protocols as well as the rising concerns regarding the pandemic. Disneyland Paris will close after Sunday, March 15th, and is set to remain closed as well through the end of the month. Its resort hotels as well as the Disney Village are scheduled to remain open. The Disney Cruise Line is joining with Disney parks around the world and temporarily suspending operations due to the coronavirus pandemic through the end of March. Beginning Saturday, March 14th, Disney Cruise Line will suspend new cruises through March 31st. In Japan, Tokyo Disney Resort has been closed since February 29th to combat the spread. And while an opening date is currently slated for sometime in April, an exact date has not been set. A visit to the Tokyo Disney Resort official website reveals that previously set calendars with defined opening times are now replaced with an undecided in Japanese. Tokyo Disney Resort releases its opening ca uh, operating calendars uh, about six months in advance, yet the calendar has been entirely cleared through September 30th. This doesn't mean for sure they're going to be closed that long, and, and certainly hope not. That seems like a bit much, but um, it's just worth noting that they're, they're at this point they've just cleared it, and they'll decide when this is all passed, when they're going to reopen, what the hours are going to be, and, and all that kind of stuff. Disney has postponed the release of three upcoming films. Mulan, along with 20th Century Studios, not Fox, uh, is the new Mutants has been delayed. I think it's like the fifth or sixth time that movie's been delayed. And Searchlight Pictures' Antlers have been removed from the release schedule, with Disney currently looking at potential 2020 dates for rescheduling. The films have pre previously been set for release on March 27th, April 3rd, and April 17th, respectively. The rescheduling will be uh, global, with movie theaters already closed in China, Denmark, Norway, Greece, Italy, Poland, and parts of India, Lebanon, and Kuwait. The Walt Disney Family Museum will remain closed through March 20th after an employee tested positive for coronavirus. The museum closed back on Friday, March 6th. And on some positive news, we finally have a release date for Frozen 2 on Disney+. Plus. Elsa and Anna's new journey to uncover truths about their paths will be available to stream on June 26th. Hopefully we can all go outside by then. <laughs> I'm hoping that that's not a thing we get to do during this scary time. I hope by June 26th we can watch that. When we get home from being out on a nice day, maybe at a Disney park or doing something outside without fear of, you know, disease. It'll be great. It's searchable now on your Disney Plus enabled device, and there's even a link uh, to the trailer on the pop-up uh, menu. So get ready for Frozen 2 on Disney Plus. Um, before we end the show, I just want to quickly state, obviously, um, this is hard. And, and, and I'm not even talking from a business standpoint, but an emotional standpoint, I think. Um, what's going on is very hard for everyone. I think in these moments of worldwide panic and fear, 
Um, we we love having the Disney parks to go to. I know after 9-11, you know, I, I grew up in New York. I lived in New York. We watched the World Trade Center, you know, burn and, and eventually fall from the rooftop of my mother's workplace um, on 9-11. And I, I know, you know, we didn't stop traveling after that and that we came here and found solace in that. I know in um, the loss of family members over the years, we've always uh, come to Disney World, uh, you know, to sort of uh, escape what's going on in the real world. And that's uh, that's what John Hench said many years ago. I think it was to Bob Weiss, the current head of Imagineering. He said, uh, Bob asked him, what, what does all this mean? What does Disneyland mean? And John said something to the effect of, uh, it means everything's going to be okay. Um, and so not having these places is uh, weird because it, we don't have that. We don't have the, that escape. And I know sometimes we get judged for it. It's like, oh, you're grown adults. You shouldn't need to escape in a theme park. But but uh, I think probably for many of you at home, and I know for me, um, I've grown up coming to Disney World and the last couple of years have fallen in love with all these places who, no matter what's going on in your life, um, always make you feel a lot better, bring a lot of happiness into this world. And it's a shame that that happiness won't be brought in at a time when people need it most. But um, I will tell you that we're not going anywhere. So if you follow this site, um, I will attempt to still do these news shows. I don't know how much news we're going to have. And I am hopeful that it will only be a couple episodes before I get to come on here and tell you that uh, everything's reopening. Um, but we're going to keep doing these news shows. And on top of that, um, right here on YouTube and on all our social media, um, starting on Monday, uh, we're going to start doing a new program called uh, WWNT Live. And for a couple hours a day, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, at least, maybe even on weekends, um, I'm going to come on here and we're just going to we're going to talk. Um, we're going to have guests. We're going to play games. We're going to have discussions. We're going to do all sorts of fun, cool things. It's going to be a very laid back thing and just a, a little escape for everybody while maybe there's not news coming in or you can't go on your trip to a Disney park, whatever it might be. I think um, I think it'd be fun for us as Disney fans to get together and just take solace in one another. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, starting Monday. There'll be more details. Obviously, this is all very new. We're still working on stuff. We're figuring out what we're going to do. But, um, you know, my schedule's opened up, and I don't think – I, I don't want to just sit at home. I'd rather talk to you guys, and, and we'll all figure this out together. So uh, stay tuned for info. But but uh, don't worry. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we'll – in some way, shape, or form, we will be here with this show. And if you want to join us live uh, during the day and sometimes in the evenings, we'll, we'll let you know when you can do that. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WDWNT.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of this show, WW News Tonight, any of our programming. Of course, March Madness just started last night, and we are going to keep going with that. Also, um, this evening at 9 p.m. is our Back to the Future Complete History of the Indiana Jones Adventure. Um, at Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea, We're still going through with it. I think everybody needs to escape for a little while, so we're going to do it. For the Worldwide Leader in Disney Parks News, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow, and stay safe out there.